Hello. Today I've published a report on how the government will take forward the development of the new hospital. And in summary, there are three steps. Firstly, we will agree the clinical requirements of the new project. Secondly, we will shortlist potential locations based on those requirements and on technical and financial assessments. And finally, we will agree a preferred site, but only after meaningful and thorough public engagement. And I know that Ireland has become frustrated by what many see as an endless hospital saga. Today, we have a clear pathway to ensure that we quickly develop the new hospital that Islanders need and deserve. In, in designing this process, I've sought the views of state's members and also advice from senior officials. So we plan to draw on information already gathered by the previous project team, but also to take account of more recent developments in Jersey's healthcare model. We're going to create new governance and oversight arrangements which will ensure appropriate political leadership, scrutiny and sign-off without incurring unnecessary delays. And working with the Environment Minister, we're going to establish a proper public interest test to ensure that appropriate weight is given to the uh, sometimes competing interests involved in site selection. And we'll also ensure that the New Island Plan specifically allows for the designation of a new hospital. Now it's my aim that a planning submission for the new hospital be made next year and construction can begin at an approved site as soon as possible. Now I know that the proposed timeline is ambitious, but if we all get behind the process, it should still be possible to deliver this within around 20 months. And if we all agree that this is a priority and work together, we can deliver a completed hospital in a similar timescale to that of the previous scheme. But in doing so, we must show that we've understood the important lessons of the past. I want this project to be more inclusive by involving state's members and engaging islanders and staff through citizens panels. And the project team will bring a construction partner in earlier on to save costs. And current healthcare delivery will be reviewed to ensure the clinical requirements of the new hospital take account of changes in working methods since they were originally scoped in 2012. So in taking these steps, we can ensure that the hospital that we develop is one that is fit for the needs of the island and is ready to support our community through the coming decades. It is an ambitious plan, but I am ambitious for our, our island, and together we can see that ambition is made into a reality. Thanks so much.